Women's entitlement is at an all-time high. Well, it's kind of obvious because they get easy attention and validation, especially when they're young. Just having a hot body is enough to land a few hookups. However, in reality, no one deserves anything, especially if they don't offer anything of value. Men learn this the hard way sooner rather than later, but guess what? Women don't. What we're getting here is, well, I'm a mother because I know how to be a mom. Men are looking for somebody to be a mother to their children, not somebody else's. And, and vice versa, I am looking for a man to play that role, to be a father to but my But we don't want to be fathers to your kids. We want to be fathers to our own children. What about my, okay, what if you like- in No, no, what, understand something. You don't have any leverage in this thing as a single mother. See, it's all about what you want. <laughs> somebody has told you because you got a dimple, <laughs> Because you got dimples, you can get over on this. Kevin. But if it, if it, don't you, Kevin, me, if this worked, this is a it, no, no, this is not a two way any goddamn thing. This is a one way thing, my way or the highway. That's how this works. After working your ass off and becoming the man, suddenly single moms want you to be a father to their kids. Thank you. But no thank you. <laughs> In today's video guys, you'll take a look at the insane degree of entitlement single moms have, why most men don't accept them, and most importantly, why they're a source of problems and destruction for you as a man. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to MGTOW Path. he said, if she actually wins this case, I will lose all hope in humanity and the justice system. And you're absolutely right. There would surely be legions of men asking for answers if she did. And if you don't know what we're talking about, check out last video in regards to Adesanya, a UFC champion. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Today, we delve into a complex issue that has sparked debates surrounding the dynamics between men and women. Many have raised concerns about the perceived disconnect between the expectations placed on men and women's willingness to self-improve. Join us as we explore these insights and shed light on the evolving landscape of gender expectations. First, men's journey from stepping up to success. Over the years, men have faced societal pressure to step up and fulfill traditional gender roles. Many have indeed risen to the challenge, pursuing education, securing jobs, and working diligently to build successful lives. Men endured hardships and discrimination, often being treated as lower-class citizens, yet persevered and achieved financial stability. As a result, they acquired assets, enjoyed various luxuries, and built secure futures. They got everything women wanted, but guess what? Women didn't learn how to be mothers, let alone good wives. All modern day women learned is showing their bodies, advertising them, and sucking dick as if that was enough to land and retain a man. Some women let a bad boy hit it raw, had a child out of wedlock, and surprise, the baby's daddy is not there anymore. In some cases though, he's got easy access to the mommy's pants, but he never stays around. If you're dating a single mom, just know that she don't like you. She just needs help. There's nothing you could do to surprise her, impress her. She done been through it all. She got kids. She's looking for somebody to help her out, take care of them badass kids, and pay them bills. Real shit. You're basically a walking ATM. Nothing else. Like, that's it. And what you're going to do is you're going to invest a lot into those kids, into her. And as soon as the baby daddy come back and he's ready to act right, your stupid ass is on the curb. Straight up. Second, women's expectations, the shift in perspective. Some women today assert that men need to continue stepping up to impress them. However, it's important to acknowledge that this expectation is not universal, but rather reflects the views of a subset of individuals. 
while a vast majority of women, especially single moms looking for help and an ATM. I mean, a good partner who can also act as a good father. The majority of women value men according to their accomplishments and financial stability, but only a minority really do the work to please their men. Third, men's is response, the desire for reciprocity. When men express their achievements and question why they should accept a partner solely based on their past, some women may react defensively. Men point out that they have worked hard, built successful lives, and acquired wealth only to be expected to accept a partner without considering their own financial stability. This disparity in expectations leads men to question why they should settle for someone who hasn't put in the same effort to self-improve. And look, by self-improvement, men don't mean degrees, mass masters, doctorates, and six-figure salaries. Remember how simple men are. Men want fit, feminine, and friendly women. Three things I learned dating a single mom. Number one, you will never be first. You will never be above her kids. The kids always come first, no matter what. You can have a date set, and if something's wrong with her kids, the date is over. Facts. Number two, her baby daddy will always have access to sex with her. Anytime he comes over to see the kids, drop off food, drop off money or whatever, he can always come in, get some sex and get out of there. The baby mama will always be down, I promise you. Number three, and this is very important, if you get close to her kids and you raising them, y'all have a bond, one day she can get mad at you, kick you out, take the kids away. That shit is gut-wrenching, I promise you. Imagine you helping raise these kids, y'all have a relationship, you invest in money, you invest in time, and then one day she just take them away from you, ain't nothing you can do about it, they not yours. Because I will say one is a mistake, two you can say is an accident, three is careless, four and above your what list. Fourth, and this is very funny, women's defense, the call for acceptance. Spoiler, a man's standards are, well, just standards and should not be demonized. In response to men's standards and desire for reciprocity, some women may demand acceptance as they are, insisting that their past should not matter. They argue that men should embrace them, along with any baggage or shortcomings, without expecting personal growth or improvement. Spoiler, 99.9% .9 of men are not marrying a chick like that. She'll be used recreationally, if at all. Just like men gotta do the job beforehand, including overcoming trauma and pain, so should women. When a woman has a child, there's no upside for you as a man coming in and taking care of that child because of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. When the man gets in a relationship with you, he's not just getting in a relationship with you, he's gonna have to take that child on at some point. So my point is, is that when he takes you on and that child, he's gonna bear responsibility for that child as well. But the problem is that he's not gonna have the same authority. He won't be able to discipline that child the way he wants because it's not his kid. So he has responsibility without authority. Responsibility without authority is slavery. So he ends up having to take care of that kid. Let's say y'all break up. Now he loses access to that kid, which he ended up developing a bond with, and he loses you. So it's going to hurt two, three times more. Fifth, men's perspective, standards, and boundaries. Men argue that if a partner's past does not matter, then neither should their future, aka equal rights, equal lefts. They believe that having standards and boundaries is essential for a healthy and balanced relationship. Men are no longer willing to settle for someone who does not share their values or aspirations. They seek partners who have put in the effort to grow and improve, just as they have. And finally, sixth the mutual growth and support that only 10% of couples have. Women should recognize that personal growth and self-improvement are crucial for individuals' happiness and the success of their relationships. It's not about perfection, but rather about continuous growth and shared aspirations. Mutual support and encouragement can help couples thrive as they navigate life together, supporting each other's goals and dreams. Sounds good, but these single moms are all about a simp's money, their selfish asses, and their kids. Everything else is secondary, including you. All in all, it is evident that gender dynamics and expectations have evolved over time. While some women may assert that men need to continually impress them, it is important to remember how independent and strong women are, right? I mean, why would they care about a man approaching them? These single moms are full of self-love, right? Similarly, men who have worked hard and achieved success have valid expectations for their partners. Still, society will call these expectations a rude form of discrimination. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. 
Now it's your turn, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.